The Web 3.0 in crypto space is rapidly advancing inside of 2023. So many different Web 2.0 giants are continuing to build in this space to cement their future in the next phase of the internet. Last week, I put out a video about Amazon's big leap into Web 3.0. And this week, I want to talk about how Twitter you know, the social media tech giant is making another play into crypto and Web 3.0. I'm going to break down everything that you need to know why this is such a huge deal for this space as a blockchain developer myself who works this technology on a daily basis. So if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory. And on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something you're interested in, then definitely smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel. And if you want to get ahead of this major wave that's coming with all these different social media giants and tech giants getting into this industry, then the best way to do that is to work in this space, break into the industry, increase your salary well past 100K. I can share to do that over at dappyversity.com forward slash bootcamp. All right, so let's get into this. Let's talk about Twitter's next big evolution into the Web 3.0 space. So really setting up the stage for this, a lot of this has to do with Elon Musk buying Twitter, making it a private company so that he has way more influence over the direction of it in the future. And he's been pretty clear about what that vision is. You know, he said recently that buying Twitter is an accelerant to creating X, the everything application. OK, so Twitter's going to look very different from what it does today in Elon's future vision. And he's put several different breadcrumbs out about what those things could be. Many of these things involve crypto, involve Web 3.0. Okay, last year, uh, whenever, you know, we were going through the acquisition process, we covered this on this channel and sort of forecasted what those things could be in the future. You know, Elon put out some tweets talking about, you know, open sourcing the Twitter algorithm. Okay, that is a very Web 3.0 value. He had a series of leaked text messages in some of the court filings that he was a part of talking about using blockchain technology for publishing his social media. OK, there's lots of intent here to move in that direction. And we have one big piece that I'm going to talk about here in a minute. That's going to be the next brick in this. And a lot of this, you know, piggybacks off of some momentum that Twitter already had in the crypto space. Again, this would not be their first uh, move into crypto or Web 3.0. Uh, we saw recently the ability to connect your crypto wallet to your Twitter accounts so that you can do multiple things, all right? Number one is to piggyback off the NFT trend, all right? So Twitter basically looked on their platform so that all these people were buying NFTs, setting them as their profile picture, and then sort of grafting in their own uh, homegrown features into the application. Like they would go to Etherscan and sign messages to prove they own this NFT and then put a signature link in their profile and say, hey, here's my profile picture. Here's the proof that I own it. And Twitter's like, hey, a lot of people are doing this. Let's just let you connect your wallet in the application and then you can just prove that you own the asset natively inside the application, get some type of verification badge from it, okay? So they did that. They also included uh, the ability to essentially connect your wallet to receive tips on Twitter, or these little micro payments. So they already saw the need for this. They've already integrated it. They already have some momentum in this. And they're also following the moves of several other massive tech giants, okay? Elon talking about buying Twitter, making it the everything application. Okay, does that, does that sound like anything familiar to you? Have you ever heard of the everything store? Okay, so that's the that's the vision of Amazon. You might have heard Jeff Bezos talking about Amazon being the everything store. So what's the everything store doing for the future of the internet? Well, last week, I just released a video talking about Amazon's big NFT initiative that's coming soon. We're supposed to hear about this in detail in Q1 of 2023. So you've got Amazon wants to be the everything store moving into Web 3.0 in a big way, uh, you know, Twitter becoming the everything application, all right, who's been moving into Web 3.0 is about to make another big leap. So every major giant that wants to cover everything, they're definitely including Web 3.0 as a slice of that pie. All right, so now let's look at Twitter's next expansion into becoming the everything application and how that's going to affect crypto and include crypto. So basically, Twitter's next expansion is to become an all-encompassing payments platform, building this with support for crypto in mind. So let's, let's break that down piece by piece. Let's start off with payments, all right? So this is a next major logical step for crypto for lots of reasons. Number one, we already have social layers like Venmo for payments that are huge. I mean, you've probably venmo people money. That's become like a term, hey, can you Venmo me now? Of course, we got Cash App and other things, but Twitter has a huge position to help capture some of that, especially if they accrue crypto. But don't forget who we're working with here. We're talking about Elon Musk, okay? Aside from being one of the most famous entrepreneurs in the face of the planet, his background is in payments, okay? I mean, he's the co-founder of PayPal, so I think he knows a thing or two about how payments work, how they work over the internet, and sees potential for crypto, and also integrating that into Twitter as the everything application, okay? So I'll be completely clear with this. Uh, this looks like the initial plan to support fiat currencies as the default, 
but plans to support crypto infrastructure going forward. I mean, that's a pretty common thing in engineering, basically build a feature so that it does one thing, and then you update that feature to include other things over time. And I have a suspicion that part of this has to do with regulations, which we'll likely see more clarity on in the future as well. So how could this be such a big deal for the Web 3.0 space? Well, there's a lot of obvious things that come to mind, but let's let's talk about some of those, maybe some of the not, not so obvious things. So if Twitter becomes the everything application, and you know its next move into that is payments, and that eventually starts to support crypto, Let's talk about how that can solve one of crypto's biggest problems right now, which is user experience, okay? So, uh, of course, a lot of people are going to jump through hoops to go start trading crypto because they can make profits. But if you're talking about all these long tail use cases for crypto, just like, you know, paying for for things on a, on a simple basis, then let's look at how you have to do that now. So, like, right now, if you had a normal person use blockchain and they had to use something like Etherscan to verify their transactions, like, this doesn't make any sense. Right? It, it, it's like super abstract. You say, hey, connect this wallet that has this big, long string of characters. That's your identity. And like copy and paste that address that you can't really read and like open this wallet MetaMask, right? And then you look at the transactions on Etherscan and you just see this big list of receipts. It's like looking at a database. And if you're non-technical, this is extremely intimidating, all right? It doesn't make any sense. It's not intuitive. But if you actually have a platform like Twitter, okay, a social media platform, that becomes more of the social layer for your online interactions. And that can really, you know, solve this problem. So basically, if you're like, hey, here's my account, all right, and you have your wallet connected, and you're easily able to onboard the crypto ecosystem and have some money connected to your account, it's like, go to my account, click this button, click pay, and then it just takes money out of my account to yours. And you can verify that, you know, receipt on the blockchain as this nice sort of bonus that you can have this transparency and, the, and this trust built in then that's huge, okay? That adds a social layer to blockchain that really wasn't there previously. Not to mention if crypto can help with the onboarding of users to where it makes it easier to set up an account, generate a wallet, and then also fund that account, that removes some of the friction that's one of crypto's biggest problems in the first place right now instead of having to go to exchange, KYC, register, move crypto off the exchange, move to a wallet, and then start making transactions with some sketchy looking application like MetaMask. No offense, I love MetaMask, it's awesome, but most normal people are scared to death of it. And then basically what that can do is like turn Twitter into Venmo with blockchain, okay? So basically you have Twitter, it's your social app, and you're like, hey, you want to Venmo somebody? You know, you have that verb already in the English language as part of our, you know, sort of dialect. But then you're just like, hey, get on Twitter, click a button, you can see the receipt, you can add a message for what that payment was for, all that type of stuff. And that's huge. And so that's what this immediate feature could look like and how that could be a next big stepping stone for crypto. Uh, to, to usher in the next wave of adoption, help Amazon become more of an everything application and help the entire crypto space, uh, you know, by proxy. Now, let's talk about what this could mean for, you know, things beyond this. So one potential is essentially Twitter becoming more of an identity layer for blockchain as well. You know, we really haven't solved the problem of identity on blockchain yet. We're still like using these not very friendly addresses to send money around. Of course, we have things like Ethereum name service and ENS names, all right? But there's so many many use cases we can use for blockchain in the future once we've verified people's identities, verified certain information about them to give them certain permissions to do things like what's your age, uh, what's your location, all this type of stuff in order to grant access on chain that you can't really do now. And so, you know, if Twitter can help us move into the decentralized identity space or be some sort of ID issuer where we have, you know, certain... Uh, you know, ID issuers that we honor based on their their due diligence, then that could be a huge part of this equation as well. And of course, if Elon actually moves forward with any of the other things that he's hinted at in the past, like open sourcing the Twitter algorithm, that doesn't necessarily mean putting like the Twitter algorithm on the blockchain, okay? But open sourcing, it makes it much more of a web 3.0 point of value where you can basically verify things like the old adage, don't trust verify because we have problems of, you know, censorship, deplatforming people, you know, shadow banning people with algorithms, you know, highlighting or suppressing things that that you like or don't like in the trends. Open sourcing could definitely help with those problems. Or if he actually decides to use blockchains uh, to help with, you know, content in any way, potentially, you know, reducing bots and Sybil attacks and things like that. All of those things could also help push Twitter in a much better direction with Web 3.0 and really help the space out a ton. So let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Are we actually going to go through with this Twitter payments feature? Is it going to actually use crypto in a big way? Is it going to be good for this space? Are there things I'm not seeing about this that you see the potential in or the downside risk in? All right, let me know in the comment section below. So that's all I got for today. You know, as always, smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. 
that really helps videos out so that more people can learn about blockchain. And, you know, the best way to get in on this massive trend where all these companies are moving is to get the skills and jump into the industry. That's where you get the biggest advantage is working with this stuff and watching it day in, day out. So if you want to do that, the best way to do that is to become a blockchain developer. So how can you get started? You know, you can go to my YouTube homepage. You can find my free courses there. They're like Udemy courses, but they're totally free. And if you like those videos and you went to the next step or, hey, maybe you want to take a massive shortcut entirely, actually become a blockchain master, step-by-step, start to finish, break into the industry, increase your salary well past 100K over at dapversity.com forward slash bootcamp. Okay, you don't have to be an expert to get started right now. I've helped people with zero coding experience become real world blockchain developers in a matter of months. So... That's all I've got. And until next time, thanks for watching Dap University.